So it's true, it can, the cards can be borrowed. You can have the cards looked at beforehand. You can actually have the cards, the volunteer themselves cut the cards at any point. They can actually riffle shuffle the cards also, if you prefer. This card uh, does not use a force. What it does is use a key card. So they can legitimately, the performer can legitimately um, waterfall the cards and they can call stop anywhere they like. Let's say they call stop right there. They look at those two cards and while they're looking at the cards you turn away and what you're doing is just looking at that card right there, the bottom card. And it legitimately can be any card you desire wherever you stop. So they have a legitimate um, uh, time to call stop anywhere you want. So they're looking at their cards, you're looking away, you don't know what cards they selected, but all you remember is the card you stopped at. They would put their cards back. You would uh, waterfall the rest of the cards. Okay, then you could legitimately have the cards cut. And then you would have them deal the cards into two piles, two equal piles face down. Now what this does is separates the two selected cards along with your key card. So your key card could be either on the left or right, depending on where you cut the cards. So all you're remembering is that key card. In this case, I think it was Ace of Plus. All right, so the cards are separated into two piles. You're remembering your key card. You flip over these cards, and you're looking for your key card. So there's the Ace of Clubs. So what he does when he spreads the cards is he's discreetly counting the amount of cards in front of your key card. So he counts all the cards, including the key card, and the next card to the left is theirs. Now you can either count all these cards or you can count from here up until your key card. So we'll do it that way. And what you would do is discreetly count the cards. You wouldn't count them one, two, three. Just slide over three. Slide over a couple more. There's six, seven. So in this case, it's the eighth card, all right? So it was eight. So you just turn over this pile, ask if they see their cards, and you would count over the same amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. And there's their two cards. Oh my gosh! Oh, that's awesome!